Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be putting together my display cases for my shot glasses and a t-shirt. Um, I just went to Michael's and I bought two display cases. Hold on. I bought, actually technically my mother bought them for me as gifts, but <laughs> I got a t-shirt display case. Um, it's a studio decor four-way adjustable shadow box. I think technically display like for t-shirts they're called shadow boxes. Um, glass is movable among inserts. It's two and a half centimeters thick. Yeah, so I got this. So that is supposed to frame this. I got this in Thailand. My team actually made it for me while I was competing for Miss Universe Thailand 2022. So I want to frame this and I want to frame my old sash. So that's why I got that display case. And then I also got a, another display case. So I got a nice little shot glass display case because when I travel or if I go on vacations or any of that stuff instead of buying like expensive souvenirs and stuff I usually just buy like a little shot glass so I have a bunch of like little shot glasses from places I've been so we'll do that we'll frame those today and we'll see how they go I'm not very artistic but I hope I hope these turn out well I ended up changing my shirt because I got it is it's quite warm in here. So I took my sweater off, my t-shirt on. Right, we're going to unwrap this bad boy. Let's move back so you can see more of it. So yeah, lots of plastic. It has hooks on the back that you can undo. Let's do that first. So we're actually going to do it up here so you guys can watch me do it because I don't have the setup where you can watch me do it well. Also, this is my outfit. I'm in sweatpants and a t-shirt. I have spandex shorts underneath. But yeah, that's the outfit of the day. So enjoy me trying to figure out how to display a t-shirt. It has my t-shirt in it and that's what it looks like it's very simple just a t-shirt display um yeah but ta-da now i just have to find a place to hang it i'll probably hang it down in my basement or in the living room or something but yeah pretty cool pretty cool so now we're on to part two of my display cases um we have my little shot glasses. Um, some of these might not fit. Some of these might fit because they're all different sizes. But you guys can get little stories about it. That, that definitely won't fit. This is definitely way too big. But we'll go one by one. Little stories behind where I got them. And yeah. This one's actually kind of beat up. So this is my... 1911 shot glass. I got this in Syracuse with my friend Morgan. We went to a we went wine tasting. Oh, we went spirit tasting. One of those two. This guy's too big. This doesn't. Too big. 
Um, this is also the Too Big Pile by Atelier Stories. This is from Lost Rhino. It's just a brewing company in Virginia. Yeah, I went there with my cousin and my uncle and my dad. I like the glasses, so I bought one. Um, this is from Brown's. It's a restaurant bar in Syracuse. I believe it's in Syracuse. But I went with my friend Mike and Sam and Morgan. I believe Morgan was there. But we got these cute little little glasses. I oh, he fits perfectly. Look at that. Like, that's a perfect fit. Well, let's go with this one then. This is from Frog Alley. This is also from a bar in Schenectady, Schenectady, Troy. Yeah, got this little guy. We went on a brewing tour. Went with Sam, Mike, and my cousin Bernie. And these were cute. They gave these out. No, we actually bought these. We bought these because we thought they were cute. Those fit perfectly. Those guys fit absolutely perfectly. Um, I think this guy might be too big, but I got this. It's the Hayfield and McCoy dinner feud. We got this in Tennessee. I went to a dinner and show with my family in Tennessee while we were dropping my brothers off. They're really cute. I thought it was cute. It's not really a shot glass, but just a little, what are these things called? I don't know. It, and the handle makes it too big. I broke it anyway. Ta-da. Ta-da. So, she don't fit. <sighs> oh, this still has the tag on it. I think I was too lazy to take it off. Anyway, this is from LSU. My brother goes to college here. That's why I got it. Because she fits just nice. This one won't fit either, but I'll show you this one. This is from Niagara Falls. I thought it was cute. I got this one when I took a trip with Cassie, my cousin, to Niagara Falls. That won't fit. I already know that one won't fit. I have a Ruby Falls one. Ruby Falls is in Tennessee. I went to Ruby Falls and it's absolutely beautiful. We had to go spelunking to see it. I think it's one of the prettiest underground waterfalls in the entire world. That's pretty cool. Nice little display case. Wow. Then I have the Airboat Adventures. We went to go see alligators on airboats in Louisiana. I think we were in Lafayette, Louisiana. So we spent a little bit of time in New Orleans, which was really cool. Me and my family. While we were um, dropping my brother off at school. Well, shot glasses fit great. I hope you guys enjoy my grout fit. It's not really a grout fit. My shirt's blue. Then... Oh, I didn't get this one for myself. My friend got this one for me. Um, this is from Universal Studios. It has um, Pepe written on it. It's the closest thing to my name. That's not actually how you spell it. P-E-P-P-Y is how you spell my nickname. But she found one that said Pepe, so she got for me. Next, um, Alcatraz East. This is a really cool crime museum that we went to either in Louisiana or in Tennessee. One of those two. Maybe Georgia. Either way, on the trip to Louisiana, the South, that's where we got this one. The Alcatraz Museum. It's really cool. Just tells you about the uh, criminals and their backstories and like what they did. Next, um, this is from Lake George. I went to a spirit tasting with my aunt, my cousin Devin, and my cousin Cassie. And they give us these little tasting glasses to take home after the tasting. So, what's next? Oh, this is one of my most recent shot glasses. Uh, this is from the Incline Railway. We did this in Tennessee. Yeah, it's right by Ruby Falls. I have a lot of shot glasses from that road trip. Hmm. Yeah, but I take the road trip every year, so. Oh, and then another one from Tennessee. The Chattanooga Choo Choo. We went to go see the Choo Choo Train. The pretty big Choo Choo Train. Also, you can stay in the train if you want. It doesn't go anywhere, but it's it's pretty cool. It's like a little museum for trains. Oh, we're coming down to the last few. These are a little dusty. They've been sitting. This is from Ireland. Um, my friend actually got this for me when she went to Ireland. I didn't buy this myself. This was a gift, but it's a really cool Ireland one. She also got me an Ireland teddy bear. I don't know where I put the teddy bear, but 
that's what this guy is. What's next? Oh, the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Yeah, this looks like the last one of my collection for now. Obviously, there's still a lot more space for me to collect more. But I got this one. It's from Made of the Mist in Niagara Falls. I went with the last vacation I took with my grandmother. Um, we went to see Niagara Falls. We went to Made of the Mist. And I thought these little shot glasses were cute. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> And so that is it. Thank you all for watching my collection of things and watching me put together new display cases because I'd rather just not have everything sitting around and clutter. I want to be able to see the things I collect. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and you appreciate the little short stories behind the little trinkets I like to buy. Uh, I love and appreciate you all. Please consider liking and subscribing and commenting if you do not mind. Um, I'm sure more videos will be coming soon, so I hope you en appreciate or enjoy, at least enjoy, my spastic videos, so I will see you all in my next video idea. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>